Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that, while it may be a pivotal week regarding the US election, we are staying away from that event. There are plenty of other places you can get whatever slant suits you. In the coming week, the highlight will be the Friday morning US Fed rate decision. Analysts have penciled in a 25 basis point rate cut there to 4.75%. They won't be the only central bank to review their interest rate settings this week. We'll also get them from Norway, Brazil, Poland and the UK. Plus, of course, Australia tomorrow, where analysts expect no change at 4.35%. But the big weekend news was the undershoot in the US labour market. The US economy added just 12,000 jobs in October on a seasonally adjusted basis, well below a slightly downwardly revised 223,000 in September and forecasts of 113,000. It is the lowest job growth there since December 2020 on this basis, and that is one of the, this is the one that sets the narrative. The reasons for the low result are said to be the combination of the two hurricanes plus the ongoing Boeing strike. But regular viewers will know that we also look at the actual data in addition to the seasonally adjusted data. Somewhat surprisingly, that rose a very strong 826,000 to 160 million people on company payrolls, the highest ever. And that is a gain for the year of 2.1 million jobs. The seasonally adjusted data also essentially shows the same annual gain. Market reactions to the low headline jobs number suggest they see it as an outlier. North in Canada, there was a factory expansion there. A rise in new orders pushed their result to a 20-month high. In China, the Kaijin factory PMI turned minorly positive, pretty much confirming the official factory PMIs there released earlier. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 4.39% and up two basis points from this time on Saturday, up 14 basis points in the past week. And the price of gold will start today at $2,736 an ounce and down a dollar from Saturday and still off, well off its high, down $9 from a week ago. And oil prices are holding at $69.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is still at $73.50 a barrel. These levels are about $2.50 lower than a week ago. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 59.6 US cents, down 10 basis points from this time Saturday. A week ago it was at 59.8 US cents, so little changed. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 90.9 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're down 10 basis points at 55 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at 68.7, unchanged from Saturday at this time and unchanged from this time last week. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.